When my horn starts to look and feel dirty, it changes the way that I feel about playing it. Here's the process that I use to clean my instrument. Grab a few towels, some small, some big, some old t-shirts, a polishing cloth, gloves, a snake, q-tips, balloons, Haggerty's spray polish, flitz polish, brasso, cleaning brushes, paper towels, valve oil, and some slide grease. I'll explain what everything is once it's time to use it. The goal is to clean all of the gunk from the inside of the horn, but it's also to get rid of the tarnish, watermarks, and anything else that makes the horn not look good. Start by taking the horn apart, keeping everything organized in the process. I always like to line up my valves in order. If a screw gives you trouble, try heating it up. I usually use a steamer that I have. Once you heat it up, cover it with a cloth and give the outside of the ring a very light tap with a hammer to loosen it up. It should come right off. Once your instrument is disassembled, you'll really be able to see how dirty everything is. I clean my horn all the time and it's still filthy. Fill up a bathtub with warm water and a little bit of soap. Place everything except the valves in the tub and your goal should be to have everything fully submerged. The water will start to look a little dirty. That's a good thing. It means all of the gunk inside of your horn is starting to loosen up. Let it soak for about 30 minutes and then start to clean it with your snake and your cleaning brush. Now take your time with this and be really thorough. It will take a few passes to get everything out. Once you're done, empty the water and make sure no dirt is left in the tub. Fill it again with some warm water and let it soak for another 30 minutes. While you're waiting, go ahead and set up a station where you'll finish cleaning the horn. Lay out a big towel and bring all of the cleaning materials nearby. Give everything in the bath a final rinse and then lay it out on the towel. Once everything is there, dry it off and dry it off really well. This is a very important step. If you skip this step or you don't do it well, it makes polishing down the line much harder. Once you have hand dried the instrument, leave everything to air dry for just a few minutes. Go ahead and grab your valves and clean them over a sink. Use a brush to get into every crevice, making sure that they're completely clean and free of any gunk. Set them out to dry when you're done. Now hopefully you'll notice after the bath, the whole instrument is already looking a lot better, but we wanna make sure we give it a proper deep cleaning. Grab the Brasso. This is for your slides. This stuff is awesome. It gets rid of any oil and tarnish on your slides. It basically makes them look and run like new. Squeeze a good amount onto a slide and use a t-shirt to clean and wipe it off. You may have to do this a few times and you'll have to use a good bit of elbow grease. It takes some work, but the results are fantastic. Once all of the slides are done, rinse them in some water, hand dry them, and set them down. The next thing we'll use is flitz. This stuff works really, really well. It basically melts tarnish off of a horn. Pour some onto a t-shirt and rub it into any major water spots or tarnish. You'll have to work it a little bit, but the spots will dissolve. Now for the balloons. Cover all of your openings in your horn, except the bell, with the balloons. This is to prevent the Haggerty's from going inside of your slides. Haggerty's is a spray polish, and it's the best out there. If you're going to use this, you have to get the spray. Do not get the bottle kind. It's a hassle to use, and it's not as good. Take your horn outside, or to a well-ventilated area, and spray the entire thing. Make sure you get in all of the cracks. You want to cover the entire instrument. Now there's no real science to this, but do your best to evenly coat everything. Let it dry for about two minutes. You'll know it's ready to polish when it turns a light shade of pink. I like to throw in some gloves for the next part. It's kind of messy, but it also keeps the oil from my hands from getting on the horn. Use a t-shirt to start polishing. As you wipe off the Haggerty's, use a fair amount of pressure and keep buffing it even when the polish is gone. The more you work the polish into the metal, the deeper the shine. If you're left with some black residue, it means you didn't polish enough. Keep going. For the hard to reach places, use the Q-tips. You can also use the t-shirt if you get creative. Admittedly, this part of the process takes the longest and it's definitely tedious. Be thorough though. Try not to leave any polish on the horn, especially in the cracks. It's hard to do, but the results are totally worth it. When you're done polishing the horn, wipe down the insides of all the tubes with a wet paper towel. This is just to grab any extra residue that might have made its way in. I start the reassembling process with the bottom caps. I put a touch of grease on the threads to prevent them from sticking in the future. I then put the springs back in, oil the valves, put them back in place, and work them for a moment. Next up is the slides. Put a little bit of slide grease on each tube. Work each one individually and then work it as a whole. Wipe off any grease that builds up on the outside with a paper towel afterwards. 
Once the instrument is back together, grab a polishing cloth and give the horn a final wipe down. And that's it. I picked up most of this process from my time marching in drum corps, and I've used it for about 10 years now. Now you of course may want to change a few steps, but I do hope that this video provided you with some helpful tips. If you're interested in using the cleaning products that I use in this video, I've linked them all below so you can buy them online. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch at any time. Thanks so much for watching.